Today has been a beautiful day in the Piedmont. We started out near 70 this morning with a few clouds, but then we went back to sunny skies by mid morning and throughout the day. It's been sunny to partly cloudy this afternoon and temperatures locking in on the mid 80s, 84 in Winston-Salem and at PTI 85. The official high for the tribe today, 68 the low temperature this morning and it's really nice because this time of year it can be so hot and so humid, but not today. We're in the low to mid 80s across the Piedmont and you can escape that heat always go to Beach Mountain or anywhere above 5000 feet. They're in the 60s right now. Satellite radar shows you a good looking day outside with sunny to partly cloudy skies. We open up the picture. There were some showers in our southern counties earlier. Now they're down in the coastal areas of our state and also down in parts of South Carolina. And if you look at the the rainfall over the last 12 hours, while it's been really quiet here in the Piedmont Triad, uh, some of our viewers in the south, including Montgomery County, have actually had some rain. And once you go one county over, they've had a lot of rain, a good one to three inches uh, from Moore County all the way back down toward Hope County, just north of Rayford. So again, some folks got some wet weather here in the last 12 hours. Weather map shows high pressure on the map in charge of our weather. It's going to take good care of us the next couple of days. We'll have a small chance of some showers starting to creep back in with time, but nothing major like we had to deal with last week. The muggy meter, well, right now we're in the comfortable range. We do jump back up to humid at times tonight into tomorrow. Then we level out and we go up a little bit worse as we go into the weekend into the oppressive range. And as I mentioned last week, we'd probably be talking about another tropical system this week, and we are. And it's way out here. Here's the East Coast, Southeast, and there's Puerto Rico. And there is our potential tropical cyclone that has now become Tropical Storm Ernesto. The symbol just changed at 5 o'clock. That's when it became Tropical Storm Ernesto. Its winds are now at 40 miles per hour with gusts to 50. And there you can see that we've got some warnings out on some of the islands, including the Virgin Islands, and back over here toward uh, Puerto Rico. Let's go through time and see how this thing's going to move and strengthen. Once it gets near San Juan, Puerto Rico at uh, 2 o'clock in the morning tomorrow night, winds will be near 60 miles per hour. And then this system starts to turn north and it looks like it's got its eyes set on Bermuda. Bermuda is right in here and it's showing a category two hurricane on Saturday with 110. That's almost category three. So that would not be good for them. That's a strong storm. Here you can see the east coast of the United States avoiding us. You remember last week when we first started seeing the potential, one model had it coming on our beaches. They've all backed off of that now, so that's good for us. Mid 80s at the beach for the next couple days with some sun. Mountains have a small chance for a shower tomorrow and mostly sunny on Wednesday 70 to 75 in the Piedmont 78 degrees this evening overnight we're heading back down to 66 that's pretty comfortable compared to what we've been seeing 81 degrees tomorrow mostly cloudy just a few showers our chance for a shower tomorrow is 40 percent then we're looking good Wednesday Thursday small chances of showers as we go back into the weekend temperatures creep back to the mid 80s so no real hot temperatures in this seven day period